Dancers from El Paso and across the globe are uniting for a virtual performance that's eye-opening not just for its style, but how the group is overcoming the challenge of physical distance during the pandemic. It, it's really not just about creative movement material or contemporary dance. It's also tactical. It's also physical. Dancers with the Valetto Dance Company are about to adapt their style for the studio to the screen, the computer screen. I could just like not do anything or really try to create something. So I think my way of adapting to this new medium, it's really just exploring what else can I do in this camera? What else can I explore? And, and I think it, it also goes to dance on camera. Even if I'm going down, I sense that I'm also going up. Valeria Gonzalez is the founder of Valeto. The Borderland native has danced across the world, but has brought her classical and professional training home to El Paso. I think especially as a Mexican-American, for me, it's very important to to connect with other cultures, to keep learning, to find what other ways we can bring attention to woman empowerment. In their global performance called Moon, 22 women from El Paso, New York City, Canada, Brazil, and even Italy are morphing their homes into a stage. We use our voices, we use our faces, we use elements that we have around, like um, our couches, our beds the walls, our kitchens. For Gonzalez, Moon will offer human connection when it's most needed. Because of my personal experiences, I know that dance can heal. So there's so much in the body that it's that we hold, such as trauma, such as our history, our past, and stress. And dance is a way to unlock all of that and to really bring into the surface all of our feelings and and as human beings, we can connect with that. And you can watch the performance for yourself. Tickets are $8 and can be found by clicking on this story at kvia.com. The performance is tomorrow, Saturday at 3 p.m. And there's also a Kickstarter campaign to help support the dancers and the crew. You can find a link to that as well on kvia.com.